uh, Adam, one of the contract, one of the guys, one of the generals here from uh, Dreyfus, he had made some um, shrimp cocktail. And I'm gonna tell you what, I'm not a huge seafood person. Now, I do like shrimp cocktail, but it's gotta be pretty, gotta be pretty straight, you know? And uh, it was bomb. It was some of the best shrimp cocktail I ever had. He had it today, he gave me some. That's why I didn't really eat, that's why I'm just getting this for lunch. I don't really eat lunch most of the time anyway, so that was really good. But uh, he just sent me the recipe for it. So yeah, man. Got it? Got it, man. You You're welcome, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, that's why we try to, people come in and out and they leave the gate open sometimes and the people, you have guys <laughs> like that dude. They just roll right up in here, man. I'm gonna roll this up. I was just getting it out of the way so that I could send it back to the shop because I don't really need it anymore. Power keeps on going out in my office because of these LED lights. Oh man, and we have really dirty power here. So yeah, I have to constantly reset the power to my office. Uh. Woo, well, hey man. That's about it. You know, we did have a I had to hook up this uh, this generator that's running in the garage right here as temp power for the elevators because they got rid of the outside man lift. They have to, because this is a five story, they have to have an elevator running. So that ele this, they ordered a 400 amp, 400 amp el generator for a 35 amp disconnect on, on one of the elevators they have. So basically what we had to do is we, we had to protect this 400 amp generator, we had to protect all the equipment from this 400 amp generator, which caused, which was phenomenal cost to us. Well, it was an extra, but it was, um, at first they wanted me to put a 400 amp disconnect on the wall, and that was crazy, because I don't know if you ever, you guys know how big a 400 amp disconnect is, but what we ended up doing, even though this has its own shut up, we ended up putting a 60 amp disconnect on here. These cables go up, they go over, and they feed one of the disconnects. It's feeding, because all the elevators are done. They're ready to go as soon as we, we temp them in, or we permit them in with the you know, regular power, they'll be working. But um, but yeah, we failed this inspection a couple of times because I'd never done this before. I didn't have all the information. So when you, now when I was at CSI and I was working out at uh, Lockheed Martin, I had hooked up a generator that was twice this size and it was exactly to, to, for testing all the overhead cranes and power system inside of one of the, uh, one of the hangers. And those things are, are massive. Thousands, I, can, I don't even, can't even tell you how much tons they carry, but the cables were bigger than this. This is running on 480. And we just hooked them underneath the lugs and that was a problem, we had to find we had to find connectors, so that's behind the glass. We had to find connectors for finely stranded wires. It's a, it's a sleeve, a fulcrum or whatever you want to call it. it. Goes down over the sleeve, goes down over the finely stranded wires and you crimp it on there. And then you just stuff it underneath the lug and then you tighten it down, but they didn't. So, and then we had to use some uh, some Polaris's, but they're not really Polaris's, they're from Burndy. Polaris is a brand. Burndy makes Polaris's, but they're Burndy brand, and you have to get a Burndy that has FX on it. People, you can't just get a regular Polaris. I don't know if Polaris makes, makes up Polaris for finely stranded wire, but you can't put a finely stranded wire under a normal Polaris, so we got these Burndy's. It's a BIT for two odd, so it's BIT two forward slash O, and then right behind that, it'll say FX for flexible cables. 
And that's a class D. When class B and class C isn't good enough, get class D, people. Burndy, B-I-T, two forward slash, F-X. Could be any one of those. It could be any kind of 2.0, whatever size you want. Mine, they went from number eight to, to two aughts. And we had number twos, so that's fine. But it has to have FX behind it for flexible cables, man. Class D, when class B or C isn't good enough. There you go, live and learn. I have a lot of stuff in here. I don't even know what this is. I have no idea what that is. Look at this, I get this back order in a box and I have no freaking idea what that is, man. I'm assuming it goes with this, I don't know. Let me put my, uh, my social distancing stick up. Gonna drink of this Pepsi. Ha oh, that is good, people. Tired of ice water sometimes. I have a, I bring ice water for my guys to drink. I freeze bottles and bring them. So they get ice water. Pretty good. I mean, I don't know. I never had any. My foreman's bring me fucking ice water. I'm gonna get this cable picked up so I'm not tempting people to come in here and steal it, man. fan it doesn't do much but it does a little oh that's not gonna that's not gonna sleep uh, oh good stuff man Pepsi Coke's alright but yeah Pepsi's better mmm shop all right
my people. So I try to try to get back. I try to keep my stuff organized so everybody knows I gotta get that roll. They ruined that roll of quarter inch wire. They just busted it off. Now they won't use it because they busted the end off. It's unusable. I get it. So yeah, man. Maybe, uh, I don't know how much time I got left on my camera. Oh, it's fucking done right now. Well, that's it. I got 1% left on my camera, people. I will, uh, I'll be talking to you again, man. That's it. It's done. It's over. It's a wrap. So, uh, see you again, man.